Were you comfy, Lulu? <laughs> Are you stretched out? You crack me up when you lay like that. No, oh, that's a good dog. He's a good dog. He's such a good dog. Uh oh. FOMO. FOMO in the house. <sighs> yeah. So for you guys that like the vlogs, I'm sorry. It's it's been a minute. I, I I'm ashamed. Today we're gonna fix that. Today we are gonna vlog it up. First though, we're gonna need to get caffeinated. Caffeine is necessary. It's early. We've got a lot to do today. It's gonna require some fuel. Caffeine, let's go. <laughs> All right, gotta get this day going. Here it's already like 85 and humid, so sometimes drinking regular hot coffee in the morning just, just doesn't feel right, it just feels wrong. It's just too hot to drink hot liquids. It's, nah. So you go for the iced coffee. It's, Serves the purpose and it's cool and refreshing when it's hot out. Charlotte just woke up, she's a bit tired. Allison doing one of her, uh, well, <coughs> like weekly purges. <laughs> Seriously, I feel like about once a week she's purging some closet and doing some form of organization of some nature. That kind of brings me to why I didn't make my upload last week. I'm converting that room over there into a man cave slash cigar room slash bourbon lounge, whatever you want to call it. Basically a cool place for me to hang out and smoke cigars. The main reason was to have a place to shoot my new segment, the Man Shit Monday segment that I've been doing lately. I'm really pumped about their room. I think it looks dope. I'm really excited about it. I've been using it a little bit and I love it. It is not even completely done yet, but I needed a couple weeks to really get it done. I did all the work in there myself. Uh, I did the molding, I did the HVAC, like the ventilation so that it wouldn't get smoky in there when people are smoking cigars, the painting, the, the bar thing. I don't wanna give too much away about what I've done in there, so I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Here, I'll give you a quick little, little, hold on, ready. That's all you get. <laughs> That's all you get. I can't give you too much. Then when I do the room tour, it won't be exciting. So leave you with a little anticipation, a little cliffhanger. That's where I've been. I needed to really spend a couple uh, weeks or a week to really work. So I was just trying to do it in between videos and I was only spending like, you know, a half a day in there. It was taking forever. It was, and I'm an impatient person. So I decided just to take like a week, get in there, knock some crap out, get it done so I could get that off my plate and get back to concentrating to uploading videos and not about doing instruction. Should be done in about a week and a half or so there's just some like little decorative type stuff that needs to be finished up little furnishings and whatnot that have to be kind of buttoned down but after that it's completely done and I'll do a full room tour and all the man shit Monday videos going forward will be filmed in that room so really pumped about that but today today the main video the crux of today's vlog tattoos I've got a couple I like them I'm a big fan it's kind of a polarizing thing. Some people really don't like them. I've had some comments on these videos that are actually pretty amusing where people that really just don't like tattoos for some reason. I really thought today people were a lot more accepting of them, but there's still some people out there that really just get strangely angry. There's a lot of people that get strangely angry about a lot of things on the internet I've found since I started doing YouTube. But that's a side point. Tattoos, I'm a big fan. I started getting tattoos when I was very young. When I was younger, uh, a lot of the tattoos I got were something to do with just something I thought looked cool or a design that I really liked or something like that. As I've gotten older, tattoos have become a little more something that I use to mark a certain part of my life, represent something that's significant to me in my life, or to pay tribute to a loved one or something of that matter. Most of the ones on this arm, for instance, that whole arm is devoted to family. There's kids' footprints on their anniversary dates, mom and dad stuff. It's just, it's all family related stuff on that arm. And that's not to say there's anything wrong with getting tattoos that you just like the design. I'll probably still get some of those at some point in my life. But I really have found that the tattoos that I have that I like the most aren't because they're the most intricate or really just awesome, like Instagram worthy tattoos. It's because they are significant and they mean something to me and that's what makes them special. So that's what we're doing today. I booked an entire day with an artist at a new tattoo shop I've been going to recently. Me and a bunch of my friends, we're all going, my wife, everybody, we're all going and we're all gonna get tattoos together. But it should be a fun day. It's a really cool tattoo shop and we're spending all day there. We booked the entire day from 11 till seven o'clock tonight. So that's what we're doing. But speaking of that, we need to get going. We're supposed to be there soon. I need to get my camera gear packed up and we need to go. So let's go. Woo. 
been a hectic morning so far. Hold on, roundabout. Roundabouts are always confusing. Nobody knows what they're doing. I mean, I do, but nobody else does. Of course I know. For years and years, I've gone and gotten tattoos from my buddy, Randy Keener. Uh, he's tattooed me for at least 10 or 12 years. You guys actually saw him in a vlog before, a uh, vlog where I got Allison's initial tattooed on my ring finger. And I love Randy, he's an awesome tattoo artist, but sometimes it's fun to get work from other artists. So. Lately, I found this new tattoo place. Well, not new, it's new to me. They've been there for a while. Unity Tattoo uh, down in St. Augustine. I was introduced to them by my barber, Franklin. He was getting this huge back piece done by a really talented artist, co-owner of this tattoo place, a female artist named Pepper. Her and her husband, Bart Andrews, also a very talented artist, own this place. I was just really impressed. They got four artists. They also have Mike Franco, the guy who's tattooing uh, me and my friends today, and then another tattoo artist named Skylar. All really ta talented talented, talented artist. If I ever get there, I've hit traffic like twice. It's like one wrecked car and everybody has to stop. If you stop to look at accidents and you do that whole thing, just cut it out, you son of I mean, I try to be all positive and friendly, but God, rubberneckers make me angry. <laughs> tattoo shop bound we are. Unify Tattoo. Tell me this is not the dopest tattoo shop you've ever seen. Hold on. Anyway, so Unify Tattoo. But the whole theory behind today is I got a bunch of my buddies like this guy right here who I've known since I was 15. And we were all sitting around talking and we decided that it would be cool to kind of get a, well, let me get Graber in here. Ugh. It would be kind of cool to get a tattoo for all of us. Like something that all of us had is kind of a, you know. A symbolic, a symbolic yeah. gesture of our ever, Ever I was gonna say love for each other. Yeah. That starts sounding a little weird. <laughs> yeah, this, this this movie may go from PG to real quick here. Anyway, so we're all gonna get like these little tattoo palm trees somewhere, and then everybody also has a secondary tattoo of some nature they're gonna get. Just little small bangers that we're gonna knock out today. But Allison will be here later. Tom's coming. Well, you'll see everybody when they come. You'll see everybody. I'm not gonna ruin it now. But let's let's look around the shop. Just kidding, it does not bad. <laughs> Mike, doing his work. Yo, working, working. I really like having them more than I like getting them, if I'm being honest. I mean, Mike's a really nice guy and I like talking to him. But I'm here to hurt you, bro. <laughs> but he's, that's, he's here to hurt me, though, so. Tattoos didn't hurt, everybody would have them. It's true. So it's like it's a bad true. Honor. You have to earn it. You gotta earn them. Number one down. Here we go. Tattoo number one down. Two more to go. Graber patiently waiting for his. Patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. Mike's re stenciling. We're gonna get going again here in a minute. It's like a skin. That is weird. That feels like some, like, uh, I don't know. So I'm all done. Graber's back there in the chair now. Fletcher has arrived. He's getting his first tattoo today. This will be his Not first. first. This will be his first. Well, other than this tattoo that I gave him when we were like 15. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not the best thing. It's not the best look. Matt, lay it down. Oh, let's get in here. Hello. Hey, buddy. Want me to lift the shorts? Yeah, this is a... <laughs> This is a little bit of a, a this is a little bit of a bad position right here, buddy. Is this the easiest way to do it, or should I do something else? So, so. <laughs> oh, there we go. There it is. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! All right. The, init the initial line on the tattoo version. Oh, don't do it, bro. Tattoo version. All right. Yeah. It hurts less him doing it, or when I was doing it with a, just a needle. I guess him doing it is faster the way he's doing it. It still hurts. 
<laughs> Do you think it hurts? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't feel anything. <laughs> Matt's first tattoo. How exciting. I'm really glad we can record this for posterity. Are you alright? Yeah. You gonna make it in? No, it, it's actually uh, after a while it gets, uh, you get used to it. Yeah, you do. Did you tell you his Cat just got here. Uh, what? His news. Big Al. Mm -hmm. Big Al in the house. Anyway, tattooing continues. We'll check back in. Finishing up Al's tattoo. Well, her first. She's getting two. Mike Franco, palm tree specialist. <laughs> right? My, after uh, today, Mike, you after today, you are going to be the palm tree I guru. Love that. That's so good. If anybody wants a palm tree tattoo, I'm going to say just come see Mike. He knows all about it. I'm going to do Talk the next one blindfolded. <laughs> Cat's acting like this is her first tattoo. She's all being anxious. Okay, needle go down. Oh, 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 you want some leather to bite down on or something? Deep breath, Lamaze. Do you recommend toe tattoo? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is number one, two, three, four. This is number five? What? Is this the last one? No. No. We've, We've had five. We got cat and then we got one more. Huh? Tom, are you excited about your tattoo, buddy? I am very excited. A little nervous. So Mike said that he's having a trouble shaving the hair off Tom's arm. It's my 18th razor. I don't know why. <laughs> I've, I've seen Wookiees from Star Wars with less fucking hair on them. And <laughs> You're killing me, bro. Fucking <laughs> hair tumbleweeds. Last tattoo of the day. Tom's in the chair. Tom, Tom, wait, wait. Tom in the chair. Number six. Six person, like 11th or 12th tattoo. Mike's been a soldier. He's been a soldier. He's a trooper, man. <laughs> the last one is the best one. That's what they say. Doing work. All these guys are already done. Finite. Man, every time I look this way, this shot. This is huge. Yeah. This place is legit like the Home Depot of tattoos. It's huge. Goodbye. All right, brother. All right, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. Thanks for everything. Take it easy, man. You're the man. We'll be back. Sounds good, bro. Have See you guys later. <laughs> All right, bro. Later, man. Later, Skyler. Those guys are awesome. It's a great tattoo shop. Love them. They do good work. Let me get in here. Hold on. So that was a fun day of getting tattooed. Just hanging out with all my friends, getting tattoos. I mean, you really can't beat that. It's fun. And how about that shop? That tattoo shop is dope. Thanks to all the guys at Unified Tattoo, Bart and his wife, Pepper, for opening such a cool shop, and Mike and Skyler and all the people that work there. A special big thanks to Mike for taking the time to tattoo all of us in one day and do a bunch of repetitive palm tree tattoos. He was very gracious about it, and he's a cool guy, and he does some really great stuff. So if you guys are, by any chance, in the North Florida, St. Augustine, what? Whatever area uh, and you want to get a tattoo definitely look up unified tattoo all the artists in there awesome they all do really really cool work definitely check those guys out so that's done for the day next we're just gonna go back to the house and chill with some friends I think we're gonna get some pizzas from Papa Murphy's if you've ever watched any of my vlogs you know I do love some Papa Murphy's and just kind of hang out eat some pizza maybe drink a little whiskey smoke some cigars come on can't get mad about that all right all right oh yeah Home from the tattoo shop. Time to eat a little food. Recuperate. He's blind. Caden in the house. Caden, what up? Dude, guys, put the derby on. Put. I will say it is a happy coincidence that I got a horseshoe tattoo because I'm from Kentucky on my thumb on Derby Day. Today's the Kentucky Derby and I got a tattoo of a horseshoe on Derby Day. I thought that was pretty awesome. Good way to end the day. What do you think? Very good way to end the day.